act naive. Okay? As an, as an obedient watching me right now, your love or desire for a work in Nigeria eh, can be verily acknowledged, no doubt. A lot of you believe so much that Peter will be, once Peter will be become president like this, like you, you have so much faith. I understand, but it's called naivety. You are naive. And sometimes one will wish that, ah, assuming that uh, technology was not tampered with or compromised, and the true voter declared and Peter B is the, is the president. That would have been a different experience for a lot of you. Sure you get. Because you, you are fantasizing with a Nigerian, I mean Nigeria, that doesn't exist and will never exist. Or we'll never find out. You won't find out. I won't find out. I don't know if I'm going to be wrong of you, or if you, after investing that energy and all of that, and Obi becomes president and he disappoints. I'm, I'm just saying, you don't need to, you don't need to get triggered. Okay, calm down. I'm not trying to trigger you. I'm saying that your faith and belief based on the love that you have for Nigeria, B, as well as uh, your expectation that Nigeria can walk. My ego, Nigeria can walk. My ego, honestly, Nigeria can walk. I know, I know, I know. Oh, you are naive. I like Moko Moko. Oh, Mon Koko. But they will never let you experience that because if it has happened, it would have been a different thing. Do you know people that will? Do you know people that swore that just one, just one year alone, just one year? Of Bokwari being the president of Nigeria one year, all the looters, all the loot, everything Nigeria will Nigeria will receive auto reset. There are those who are actually so educated people who are so confident, who are so you know what Nigeria needs is a strong man. Now they know they talk about strong man anymore. What Nigeria needs now is uh, a compassionate leader. Anyway, Sha. What I'm trying to say is that uh, we will never know. But I'm going to continue to believe that you are naive thinking eh, that Nigeria can work. And it's beautiful. It's actually beautiful to see some of you, especially young people. You put that energy in it. No, my ego, let me tell you something. At least, <clears throat> see, I am one of those who believe that. Peter B can block the loopholes, the stealing to some extent. I am one of those who believe that. In fact, I am one of those who believe that if Nigeria is to be saved temporarily and all this hunger, starvation and all of this should be sort of, a, you know, a little bit abated. Somebody need to put a plug on how they are, what? How they are cargoing or shipping out your, your money. Yeah, just temporarily for like a year. Okay, that will still be hardship, but it's going to be at a level where, you know, like, it's not going to be going on, no, 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 like that. I do believe that, but that will never save Nigeria because uh, the problem of Nigeria, eh, the cracking problem of Nigeria is beyond just the hunger, or that hunger you are talking about. We need good governance. We need to stop marginalization. You have no idea what you are talking about. And unless, honestly, eh, I am too tired to explain it to you again and again. But life, they say, is a teacher. The more you live, the more you learn. Yeah? Before the whole thing turned to Wahala, before fight started, listen to this other part. Obedient versus the Agbadorians. For five seconds. Out me is not my style, but if it works uh, for some people, hey, I am, I'm a live and let live kind of guy. I would stay in my own lane, advocate for policies, principles, ideologies, and I walked that line. But I'll say this to you. There's none of us here that doesn't want Nigeria to progress, prosper. Um, I call it something very false, talking about obedience, jubilating that soldiers were killed. I don't think that's true. If there's anything, there's been a lot of outrage and emotional outburst. You can probably address the way it's being communicated. 
has not been mature. But then all of that aside, I think, you know, when people stick to these labels, you know, they try to, you know, even on my side, you know, Agbado Warrior, you know, Ronu, I hear all these things. I don't like, I don't like some of that exchange. I don't like it because for me, I prefer civil politics. I want to argue with you. I want to, you know, Doug is a guy I've been dragging. I mean, me and Doggy have been dragging since Clubhouse days, right? I mean, he's my guy. If I meet him at an, at an airport or in the lounge, I'll buy him a bottle of beer. That's the kind of politics I want to subscribe to. Not politics of hate, bitterness. Peter will be first of all, who you people should look at and say, you know what? Maybe obedience are truly different. The man doesn't do any of these negative things. You people go painting every day. Yes, you may hear some of the loud voices, but those loud voices don't really represent the attitude of the average individual in our camp so again i i want to just dispel some of these myths i'm here to debate issues uh somebody talked about social media bill banning free speech or limiting what people can post first of all you should be ashamed of yourself because nigeria we should be advocating for good governance how do we cut cost of governance how do we make sure we are jailing corrupt individuals how are we putting checks and balances making sure that again national assembly senate is doing their due diligence with spending our money judiciously so there are a lot of issues we have. If you can go back to this Nigeria Delta issue with the conflict you're seeing there today, you have militants being paid $4 billion a month, the likes of government, Tompolo and his crew. Those are the issues we ought to focus on. How do we empower the police? How do we fund the military more? How do we make sure we have better benefits? These are the kind of conversations I want to have. Not, oh, you know, who spills more ethnic bigotry than the other group. It just doesn't make sense. But anyways, I'll pull back into my... With violence as we typically do as obedience i brought an olive branch but then again hey look i'm here for bolek aja back to you guys what does that mean you're here for poletaja naked and fight naked and fight uh-uh oh, um, <laughs> i'm here for the naked and fight uh-uh. i give you i give it to you uh, but uh you cannot, uh, you can, you cannot fire, a, you cannot fire a shot and quench it on its way to its target. You said you're not going to recount history when you made mention of uh, uh, obedience didn't fire, uh, bomb down Nigeria. They didn't do this, and P two B and uh, uh, the Dati Ahmed were the only, only, only. Um, uh, 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 politicians, core politicians in obedience. Without P2B, they will not be obedient. P2B is OB. So obedient was is, uh, was named after his name. So without P2B, the mob will still be going around the street. So now, well, let us go down to the history you fired, saying the, the bond CPC, bond this and that and all that. And people will run away, especially the younger generation will run away. No. The party of P2B, PDP, the party of P2B is a core PDP man. The party of P2B set Nigeria ablaze. So, if you are pointing finger there at CPC, you will remember that the P2B party under uh, 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 what uh, Adamush Roma and, uh, and Alawa Keeta were the people that said should Jonathan become government without allowing Northern Ass, PDP, not CPC, not Buhari, that they will make the government ungovernable. That was a statement of PDP, P2B's political party. That was P2B's political party. So when you are firing this shot, saying uh, CPC and trying to dodge it, uh, to, you know, to mellow it down by saying you're not, no, we are going to recount the history. So P2B did not come out as obedient. He came out as a PDP man. Me is not my. I told you, I told you say it goes to to Wahala, because my own time is almost rounding up. By the way, and I still have like about three stuffs I want to share with you quickly before I take calls. Right? Let's just fast forward it to where the Wahala started, okay? Because Wahala don't start now. Somebody don't go don't go touch history. History will say some no like. Now so Wahala started though. Please. People will have their, oh, people have their rights to express wait, themselves. Wait, wait, wait. 
If he does not have respect for his parents, he should not come and rub it on me. Wait, you are bringing my parents. Are you mad? Wait, wait, giving two problem makers calls. Wait, this president. Wait, <laughs> 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 Wait, wait. Let's let us let, let us all calm down. Let us all calm down. We are doing exactly what we are preaching against here, which is intolerance for dissenting opinions or dissenting voices. They are doing people will have what shall I say unto the Lord? Yes, Lord. All I have to say. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I beg, I beg you. All of you now, where they, you know, all of you now, where they do now, we versus them in IPOB or outside IPOB. Don't try and put word in my mouth. Do you understand? I just saw one weary now that dropped a comment and said, My ego is misrepresenting. What uh, MNK said about the Bruku fair by of a Shuri Brukuni. So I played what he said. All of them, I hear what he said. Now, wait till me, I talk. That is what is important to you. I know a lot of you have been doing a lot, trying to drag me into your, you know, into your deluded uh, nonsense where you have uh, chosen faction against yourselves. Some people sold them MNK. Now, this one sold them. Now that one selam. Now this one selam. I have told you, it is only when the man himself is finally out. Eh? I, Mayegun, I will actually ask him himself. Everywhere. You know what I mean? Like they're embarrassing themselves everywhere. Bringing shame to a noble cause. Now they do mad, they do madness everywhere. Like 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 lunatics don't don't come here and put word in my mouth do you understand african wala eh please let me look around okay with your spanner especially on that youtube when you see those lori brukus that are here doing their usual okay we versus them they are supposed to be the same biafrans oh here you get but when you look at them attacking themselves, they always look for where to attack themselves, where to show themselves that we are the original. We are the one loyal to Kanu. We are the one for Ekori Burukuni Danu. Ekoshi Danu. See, the African Wahala, if you see any of them here, as many as possible. But me last pan For the past uh, 30 months, when I don't they try, 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 drag me. Why don't you say something about that? You want me to say something you can quote. Now you have come here. Eh? My ego is misrepresent. Abulori Brukuni. She they tell you say I get comprehension problem. Eh? Let me put spanner. Ban last spanner more. Anybody where you see the OTS, once they start out their IPOB versus IPOB on that platform, eh? Let me knock spanner on the Uluri Brukuni. They are those who have brought uh, they, are, they have done so well to bring disrepute. 
will bring shame to all this uh, struggle. If you think we don't see you, in Lori Bruku Dede. Anyway, let's go to the next one, Jerry, talking about referendum, Abby. This afternoon, I shared something with you. As I said, what they are locking Namdikanu up for. Now, those who participated in the destruction of Nigeria here and there, they don't talk, say, may we do referendum, may we do a new constitution, may we discuss Nigeria. Now, why are they still keeping, I mean, still keeping the man? Listen to these ones. They use the occasion in honor of the memory of the late renowned constitutional lawyer, Ben Wabeze, to address the current challenges faced in the country. The present 1999 constitution as amended not only lacks the legitimacy that flows from a democratically made constitution, has proved to be unsuitable for tackling many of the serious challenges currently confronting our country. Federalism, true federalism, they give them power, they won't do anything. True federalism will die. Is there any true federalism again in South South? Now they could okay. Do not come. It's a little president. Any change? Professor Mike Ezekoma, SAA, in a keynote, raised some fundamental questions bordering on the referendum which he explained will allow the people make their inputs rather than the 1999 constitution imposed on them by the military. Nigerians must own their own constitution through a popular referendum of the people like was done to the Midwest constitution on the 10th of August 1963 when it separated from Western region. Without that, we will just be on a journey to no destination. In reaching a common ground, it was unanimously agreed by the dignitaries present that there is a need to set a template for a constitutional amendment by interfacing with the National Assembly members to pass a bill on establishing a National Referendum Commission, which President Bola Ahmed Tinubu can assent to. There is therefore a dire need for a people-oriented constitution which will be subjected to a national referendum and will be self-enforcing. Lie, na lie, na lie, na lie, you lie. Every time you see them like that, eh? When they say, walaita lie, eh? Walaita lie. Tell them, say, na lie, you lie. Na kolu told us. Sure you get. Thank you, Jari uh, Kinsley Ogeriaki. I believe I pronounced that right, yeah? Ogeriaki. Aye. Some powerful being in them there, right? Now, that is my other brother, uh, which is uh, the E, you know, E85. Always there. You know what I mean? Uh, all ail Biafra, all ail old Dua. See, Baba, I know they pay mind to them. Do you understand? But some of these things are pretty much embarrassing. Brothers fighting brothers. Supposed brothers, every AKD. Hey, man, you go. Now, them sell our leader. Now, this one sell our leader. Now, that one. Hey, Kushitan. Kekori Brukusibo. Eh? We are going to disclose who sold our leader tomorrow. Next tomorrow, we are going to. You, are, you have created so much within yourselves and everywhere you see yourselves. We are the fight for. We are the fight for validation. Now, we be correct one. Man, you don't talk to those ones. Hey, they kill you, you know? Eh? And some of you are actually like. Dots. You are not kids. Everywhere on social media. Yeah, 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 yeah. Every AKD, every small time. You know, they know they tell you now, now they use in a sense. So don't bring that to me, okay? When I see comments like that, I will tell you straight up. You get me now? I will tell you straight up. And I don't give a fuck about you. That offends you. Fine. You understand? So don't bring that closer to me, okay? I have uh, invested enough, right, time and energy to make people understand that your division is not in anybody's interest. The division among those who knows the rotten system called Nigeria, your rivalry, your division is stupidity. You're fighting a monster, a generational monster. You think uh, when they talk about uh, the system in Nigeria, you think they are talking about one man or two men. They're talking about the conglomeration of all rogues who, who make the system. So you don't you think you need yourselves. Every small thing. Anyway, African Wala, well done. To battle any of them, once they start their IPOB rivalry, once you see them ban last panama lori, 
doesn't matter if one of them is your friend. Anybody that miss you, get rid of them. You know, I've done my best all this while to make sure that they don't, they don't find the fatal ground here. Any other places that you that's comfortable for you. Shengbo. Now, Arek Bemugbo is promoting parliamentary, I mean, parliamentary uh, system of government, parliamentary system of government. After spending eight years as governor, eight years as minister, now this uh, democracy, this federal system of government in Nigeria is not sustainable. Nigeria needs a parliamentary system of government where everybody go run their own affair on their own. I want to come out. The first motion is, is, is about democratic representation. We have been talking about form of government, constitution. How do we elect people to the parliament? Yes, globally, what we have is what we do in Nigeria. I see a fault. I see an error in it. People are elected based on residence. And you put the modern life, we are disconnected. Yes, in the traditional society, residence will be a forum of a relationship, of engagement. In modern life, it is not. We are united more by production, through production. So, in therefore seeking appropriate democratic representation, let us look at production as the basis of representation. That's my first solution. I may not, I mean, I'm not an expert on two sides, I have two lessons. And we have a best form of presentation. The answer is no. People are engaged more in production. In the platform, let us seek out to define a way of presentation that will ensure that productivity, production, productive art, and those engaged in production in several forms, services, are the art. Lord, amen. Anyway, that is me. Oh, somebody actually took that to heart, right? Because of me talking like that. Oh, my ego, you are losing your cool. Ignore the oh, it's like you are new, Abby. You are new here. I don't think you are. Eh? Just understand that every every face I make is for a message and it's for the you know, everybody will get the message, go get time. When I'm supposed to put on a smile, I'll put a very beautiful smile on that. You'll be like, where you are, you'll be grinding like. I just don't like it when, uh, you know, grown-ups, right, who are supposed to understand the importance of a struggle, right, continue to trivialize it on, on trivialities. I don't, I don't like that, all right? And I do my best to stay away from it. It doesn't benefit anybody. And so far, so good, it has never benefited anybody. You know that. I don't want to be the one to judge whatever anybody wants to believe. I just don't want you to bring them to me or begin to quote me. Oh, my ego, you are misrepresented. I will already blue kuni any. They tell you that I get a comprehension problem. I will not feel by down on it. They call it blue song. Anyway, Sha. My time is so up. So I'm going to go make uh, another fresh cup of tea. Eh? Oh, you know, go believe I'm. See, there are some of these lunatics, right? They actually, eh, they actually said it. Uh, you know, they said uh, it's the Igbos. Listen to this one. They said that you, said, you see that Mayegun, that one that is, uh, you know, uh, uh, trying to, is a Yoruba man, but he's trying to be like, it will pretend that he loves the Igbo because the Igbos go to his platform to go and give him super chats. You won't believe how, how stupid some of these people can be. Ridiculous. Grown ups. He's a Yoruba man. I don't trust Yoruba man. I don't even understand why our people are going to his platform, like people like that here. Instead of all of us to go to the platform of uh, our Igbo, this, and support him, they always go to this Yoruba man, this. I have them here. I used to have them here. So when I feel like I no longer have all these Olori Brukus here anymore, 
those ones who are seeing it, it, it you know, imagine somebody will say, oh my God, for, this is the first time I'm seeing a Yoruba man saying the truth. So you want me to now jump up and say, oh my God, look at this, uh, Igbo, this is my Igbo brother. Eh? He is seeing a Yoruba man that is saying the truth for the first time in his life. And you want me to jump up? We know your type. We know you begotted wearies. And that is why the bigots among us, those ones who are bringing uh, shame to Yoruba land, the real Yoruba, some Olua beasts, they are calling them out as at when deal. So don't come, come here, come they hide behind. Oh, it's like this. I'm not looking for your patronage. And I've told you, Igbos does not need anybody's pity. The reason why I will never stop pointing out the injustice and the victims of injustice in Nigeria is because one day, eh, they will come for my own people too. And when they did, eh, there will likely be nobody to speak for us anymore because they would have killed those. I mean, we would have joined them to all. We would have kept quiet because the people they are, they are targeting or profiling, they are not Yorubas. I mean, at least they are not Yorubas. What's our business? So I have told you this. If you are an Igbo man watching my ego, I am not doing this because I want you to, you know what I mean? Like, see me as somebody who loves Igbo so much. No, I do not love Igbo more than my own uh, Yorubas. I do not. But you know something? Eh? I love everyone that is human in the sense that when I see injustice anywhere, ah, ah, baba, you can count on me that I will speak about it passionately. Because one day, one day, I may be the victim. Eh? And if I keep quiet, there will be nobody to speak for me. So if you're an Igbo man watching my ego, I do not need your patronage per se. You know, when I say patronage, I do, I, I'm not saying, I'm not doing this because I want you to see me as a Yoruba man. That, no, no, no. Don't be daft. We are in a mess. The mess we are in, nobody is spared. Whether you are Yoruba, Usa, Igbo, Fulani, whatever it is, when you open your eyes clearly, you realize that we are all in danger. So if I see somebody, whether they, whether they, whether they kill right now, I'll just look away and say, oh, because it's not me. When they are done with them, they will come for me. Can't you think that? Eh? Well, I have seen some people where we say they'll be adult with, uh, you know, they'll be children with adult uh, body. So don't come here and play all this, your dirty ethnic, religious. That's why I, I fire everything. And there's nothing I can talk about. Do you understand that? And if you have been paying attention, I'm not Fulani, I'm not uh, Aousa, I'm not Kanuri, I'm not from the North, I'm not a Muslim. But I've reported more of the injustice eh, that uh, the innocent people from Northern Nigeria have suffered. Does that make me a Fulani or make me an Aousa? So don't come here and say, ah, this is Yoruba, I don't need all your praises, Koko Shidano, all this, your bigotry and all of that, that is laced in. I'm just trying to praise you. Koshidano, Koko Prisis Edano. The point here is this. If all of us know the danger we are in, we will, abandon, we will first of all, we will first drop all our ethnic, tribal, religious, and every other thing that they've used to divide us and face the danger we are facing because none of us is spared. Anyway, I'm going to make my tea because I don't dare use part of your time. The line will be opened. Okay? Now, this is, will be your time to call me in. Oh, yeah, well, pick up that phone. Call in. Don't type. Call in and say whatever you are typing there to my face. Call in and say it to my face. I'm not trying to scare you. You can say whatever you like, okay? And I will defend myself as I like too. Meanwhile, if you have to go, that's fine. For those who are waiting behind to be part of it, you know, to, to phone in, right? The line is open and I'm already seeing the calls coming through, but I need to make myself a fresh cup of tea. That may take me about two minutes. Is that all right? Of course it is. We'll be back. Oh, <laughs> my